this game. Basically, there's a chess game. Uh, uh, so you got like your chess position, except you start with a different position. Your goal is to get your king from the one end to the other. Um, and it's a much different start position, and it's all linked to in the stream title. Uh, so you can go there, get more details about how that works. Uh, or you can also go to lichess.org and uh, view people playing this game in action. Um, I just got through um, adding boilerplate code here, uh, adding a new preprocessor directive race and a new variable I called race variant and uh, um, that gets XORed into the not XORed, it could just ORed, bitwise ORed into the variable variant. And so this engine can play multiple variants at once and keep track of which positions are from what variant. Um, and it all goes on one big hash table. Um, and what I need to define next are what are the rules for racing chess. And if we take a quick look here, uh, so I define these methods, is race, is race win, is race loss, and race distance. And here's, I just copied this from how King of the Hill chess works, basically saying that a king in the center of the board wins the game. You know, that's probably not going to be the case in racing chess, um, where the goal is to get the king from the first rank to the eighth rank. So, yeah, let me take a look at this distance thing. Where is distance defined? There's a distance function. There's all kinds of distance things. But, um, okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> There's got to be a more efficient way to do this. Oh, hang on. Yeah, distance rank. Um, oops. So you must see. Find me an example of where distance rank is used. Okay, so it's used in pawns.cpp. Here's a working example. Um, And take a square and another square. Is that the case? No. Uh, square x, square y. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to interpret this based on just looking at um, code or looking at even just a grep of code. Just not very efficient. Yeah, okay, so there's distance square, distance file, and distance rank. Um, okay, so you get the rank-wise distance between two squares. Um, you can get the square-wise, the, what I would call the actual distance between two squares, or, yeah, the, as the crow flies distance. Um, however, okay, so that, and then there must be some function here, distance rank of x, rank of y. But there doesn't appear to be a distance function that takes a square and a rank. And I'm not in exactly the mood to write such a function. So what I'm going to do is borrow this here. So distance rank of x, rank of y. Um, and we're going to go back to position at h um, and check this out. So, king square is the square of the king for that color. There's that expression. Um, except our goal is not going to be rank of y, it's just going to be rank 8. And rank of king square. And. Okay. Oh! Actually, this gets really simple. 
It's, it's incredibly simple. Um, yeah, no, the is race win is return um, is the rank of um, my king's square for side to move equal to rank eight. When if king is on the eighth rank. And loss if king is on the eighth rank. The only difference in these two is which player is the winner. Um, and probably don't need to have a separate line of code just for that one KSQ variable. So there we go. That was surprisingly not painful. So that's the end game condition. Um, have I missed anything? Yeah, Racing Kings is very much like King of the Hill Chess. Um, so yeah. Turn zero if the king is on one of these center squares. Yeah, I mean, there's got to be a more efficient way to write what I wrote. Um... <laughs> mm. Yeah, why am I... Con well, okay, the distance computations just look up in the table, but that could be made more efficient. Um, yeah, I have not given much thought to this in quite some time. Um, so win condition is return... Um, hang on. What type does rank of return? Correct rank of... It returns a rank. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I can optimize this. Rank, rank is equal to rank of KSQ. Actually, let the compiler optimize this. Um, return. Rank of KSQ is equal to rank for or rank of KSQ is equal to rank five. And uh, file of king square is equal to I don't know file a file d or file of king square is equal to file e. This is how we check if the king's in the center. That's um, it should be a faster computation than doing a lookup against some table. Uh, except instead of calling using C here, we're gonna use say side to move. And down here, we're gonna say side not to move. So that should actually optimize or somehow tune that. And I can use the performance, uh, the perfed function to track how many nodes get generated and evaluated and analyzed and all that. Um, but that should be a more optimal way to write said code. And just for performance. Um, I'm not even sure if I need this king of the hill distance function anymore. Uh, uh, let's see. Pawns.cpp uses it, but only if a certain directive is set, right?
Yeah, so I want to use that same preprocessor directive um, over here. I think that only makes sense if we're playing King of the Hill chess anyway. Now, I'm a little more optimistic that ra um, the race distance is pretty important when you're trying to race your king to the 8th rank. Um, but I don't know. But maybe it is. And I'm kind of optimistic that this might actually turn out better than how some of the um, calculations for King of the Hill turned out. So, that said, I think I've coded everything. Uh, at least into stockfish. Uh, make build with a 64-bit uh, machine. There we go. Oh, hello. Um, from endgame.h. Uh, from evaluate.cpp. Okay, where is this used? Um, yeah, let's take a look, look at this again. Oh, is the deal that, no, no, I'm just confused now. King of the Hill distance color is not defined in class position. This is an error. Um, in position dot h. Oh, so my header file defines a function which need not exist. Uh, that's the issue. Um, so yeah, I think that's fine. And let's try compile again. And hopefully now my function definitions match up with. Uh, their declarations. Okay. Well, well, well. Um, let's see, is anybody playing against Stockfish on my instance? No. Uh, so I'm going to copy this into the bin directory and now play against it. Um, uh, just make sure not to test out its ability at racing chess, but just to make sure I haven't broken something. Um, hang on one. Oh, I, I have logged in. Never mind. I was going to say hang on one second while I do log in, but here I am. Okay. I'm going to play King of the Hill chess. Let's play against AI level 8. Um, sure. I'll take black. And we'll see just how this goes. Five bucks says I lose this. Just saying. But, you know, maybe I'll confuse it somehow. Um, that's the hope. That's the plan and the dream. Okay. Uh, that looks scary. Am I losing a queen? Alright. But maybe I can dash my king to the center before the computer notices. Um, so apparently that's the plan now. Okay. My king's almost there. Oh, can't go there. And that's GG. Okay. Well, I think it works, at least in terms of I have not broken anything in an obvious fashion. So next on the list, um, now that I've created Racing King's Stockfish, hey Vsim, yeah, it certainly looks fun. I've upgraded my Leechess instance, and I'm about to have a little bit more fun here. Um, let me just verify that what 
I deployed has this option. Yeah, I added this new option, UCI underscore race. Um, and now I have to go back to Leeches, um, to its AI module, I think. I, I forget which one of these modules, but this will point it out to me. Um, let's see, where do we have UCI underscore king of the hill? Um, right, so. I have to add in uh, UCI underscore race right after King of the Hill and check if the variant is equal. I assume that this is the variant name in the code, Racing Kings. If not, we'll find out very soon. Um, okay. Very soon, I mean, I'm clicking this. You should, at least I see on my second screen, the things compile. Um, <laughs> Racing Kings not found. Okay. Yeah. So I broke the code in a horrific way. Um, right. We are racing. Is that what it's called? Uh, okay. Let's take a look at the Scala Chess module. Um, view, modules, chess, source, main, uh, Scala, variant, racingkings.scala. Yeah, no, Racing Kings is totally a variant name. Um, so do we have King, oh. That's not what I need to look at. I need to take a look at uh, King of the Hill that scale up. Okay, this is what I need to search for in the code base. Yeah, here's my compilation error that I saw in my other window. Not found. Value racing kings. Uh, basically, just meaning that something is not quite defined in my environment. Uh, so we're gonna find out where I'm missing that. That really narrows it down. Let's try narrowing it down a little bit further. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try starting at modules slash AI. Okay. And let's take a look at actor API. Uh, King of the Hill. Okay, uh, we're just going to add right below King of the Hill, Racing Kings. Oh, by the way, yeah, Racing Kings starts with a special start position. Um, I know it's not this position. Let me go grab what the official position is. So leechess.org, leechess TV. Um, Racing Kings, and from here, got to go to Analysis Board. It's probably the most confusing possible way to get the start position, but okay, there we see it on the board. Here we see this is the start position. There we go. Now if I refresh, hopefully, take two, this will work better. Also, did I see something there I did? Uh, okay. I did not expect to get featured. Uh, what have I messed up? No, seriously. Uh... Oh, I know what I messed up. Okay. My bad. I linked to the rules in my stream title and the rules page is on Lee Chess. Um, yeah. Type racing for rules. Did not expect to get featured. Hopefully. Hopefully I haven't attracted too much attention with what I've been doing there. It's good that I caught that. Um, anyhow. That was a bit of an adventure. Um, all right, so this compiles. Now I have to go back. Let's see where, yeah, 
here it is, modules config.scala. Um, I have to say that AI variants now includes racing kings. Um, variants with variants. Okay, well, Racing Kings is included in that list, so I don't need to worry about it, but I don't know what that means. But, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay, so, at any rate... AI variance now includes that, but that's in the setup module. Um, uh, where did I find the analyzable keyword in here? Oops. Uh, yeah. Is it analyzable? Is it? I forget. There's something about analyzable variants, ones which are eligible for AI analysis. Um, and hopefully you're able to keep up with me as I'm doing some of this, but I'm just trying to figure out where, yeah, game analyzable variants. Here it is, game.scala. Opening sensible, division sensible. I'm not sure what division refers to. Um, I'm going to leave that be for a minute. Analyzable variants. It's now going to include Racing Kings. So at least we can run analysis of Racing Kings games. Um, I don't know what division refers to. <laughs> variants where white is better racing kings I don't know about that I mean maybe but who knows um, I don't care so what does division sensible mean I don't get that where is this even used um, Where inside all the Scala files is division sensible used? Chess.division.empty. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that refers to, but here's a divider. Um, oh, if it's not sensible, clear out the division, else... Oh, division! It, okay, this refers to can this be split into opening, middle game, and end game. That must be what it is. I'd argue, oh yeah, of course you can divide that into opening, middle game, and end game. But anyhow, um, that's not the point. Alright, compile. Don't fail me now. And eh, assuming all goes well, people should be able to now go onto my instance. Uh, I don't even think I've linked to my instance, but um, let me go do that. And people sh might be able to go here and give it a whirl themselves, uh, assuming compilation goes well. But yeah. I might be the first to try playing Racing Kings against Stockfish here. No, I'm definitely the first against Stockfish, but against an engine period, I might be the first one to try it. Um, okay. That compiled. I'm kind of in shock that my, com my code compiles first try, but it kind of means that I'm not aiming for anything especially ambitious. Um... So, alright, I'm refreshing this page. 
it's deploying some code or compiling some code I can't really tell but yeah hopefully in a minute here we'll be able to do some racing chess uh, play with the machine okay racing chess is not included in this list I think that means I need to follow the Lee Chess developer instructions. Uh, there we go. Blah, 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 blah. That's initial setup info. Here's what you do when you update stuff. Okay, let's give that a try. Copy. And rebuild all the UI stuff. There's like 10 some different modules it rebuilds as it generates the UI. Um, I'm not sure what UI node modules refers to, but apparently that's some way that, not scale, the simple build tool, SBT, deploys code. It's somehow modulized, modularized, or perhaps it's part of play framework. Unfortunately, I haven't thoroughly familiarized myself with any of that, so... Um, anyhow, now is the setup module recognized that... No, it still doesn't include that. Um, well, let's check the tournament schedule. Tournament schedule does not include... Oh, right. Um, I saw a comment this morning. Never mind on that, but... Um, so where do I go? Uh, where do I go to do this? And by do this, I mean... Um, I want to find where King of the Hill is added to that list. And I want to add... Um, I want to add... Um, yeah user helper I want to add anything that the AI can play uh, to the template uh, and anything being in this case uh, racing kings oh come on I can type I swear I can uh, king of the hill all right, so translated variant choices with variants. Oh, Racing Kings is already part of that list. However, it's not part of this list, and so I add it. Oops, I typed the wrong key. Here we go. Uh, translated AI variant choices. And have I missed anything? King of the Hill is just in those two lists. That all looks fine and well and good. Um, I'm a little curious what Game Helper and User Helper have to do with, so I'm just going to take a brief perusal of these. Ah, this describes the rules. Um, this declares the end game condition. Okay, that's all good. And user helper, what does this have to do? Oh, King of the Hill. Yeah, that's right. You have uh, your own rating class for King of the Hill. And presumably, yeah, there's one for Racing Kings as well. Okay. So now all the user interface stuff. Um, <laughs> Let's see, is this the leaderboard? Um... Yeah, Racing Kings is also on the leaderboard. That's awesome. All right, so I'm gonna just verify that my changes are sane and deploy them and see if I could play Stockfish and some racing chess. Um, okay, what are people and the uh, Lee Chess development channel saying.
All right. They're saying all kinds of things. Um, all right, this compiled. Let me go back here and give it a shot. Um, you know, once it finishes refreshing, um, okay, it's refreshed, play with the machine, come on, Racing Kings, all right, let's play AI level one, you know, because why not, right? All right, let's go. And I win. Victory by default. Perfect. Um. <laughs> Stockfish knows exactly what's up. Unfortunately, um, Polyglot, the adapter, which relays the moves and plays opening moves on Stockfish's behalf, has no idea what's going on. Um. Piece on B2 cannot move to B3. <laughs> yeah, that actually does raise a valid point. Oh, Stockfish actually doesn't know. Um, yeah, what Stockfish tried to play was Rook B3 check, which is illegal. Stockfish is a dirty, dirty cheater. I jest. But uh, how do I get special? There we go. Yeah, this is what he was trying to do. And, um, turns out that that's not a legal move in this variant. Yeah, so, it's not legal to put your opponent in check, and all, as always, it's not legal to put your own king in check. That's what I kept forgetting to do. Um, so, what I've got to change now... <coughs> is uh, the whole check stuff and just say you know what if a move puts the opposing king in check that's just an illegal move that was a good try didn't get very far um so back we go to drawing board uh okay uh, there is a method here called is legal or legal something or other. Yeah, legal. Uh, we do all this stuff like if we're playing horde chess, if we're playing atomic chess, um, more stuff for atomic chess, and non-king move is legal if and only if it's not pinned or whatever. So basically what I have to add to this is, you know, if either king is in check after this move, therefore the move is illegal. That's what I've got to add in. Um, so that's a little bit tricky. Um, if def race and if so say if we're actually playing racing chess um, or racing kings then we need to verify that our move does not put the opposing king in check. <laughs> That's going to be a fun one to look for. Is there some sort of checking routine? There's a checkers method. Um, okay. I could have sworn there is some kind of check something or other. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Gives check. Yeah. And we need to 
say that if we're playing Racing Kings and gives check move um, turn false, is there really anything else, right? Um, I guess you can't put your own king in check, but man, do I want to add this also to pseudo legal? I don't know. Pseudo legal takes a random move and tests whether the move is pseudo legal. That doesn't really say a whole lot, but um, okay. So we're gonna check. Uh, whoopsie daisy. So yeah, right. I forgot to look at the method signature of that. If gives check m and then ci. So where's an example of gives check being used? Hmm. Okay, so I have to, um, yeah. I might even be able to deal with this during move generation, right? Wait, what am I doing up here? If checks and gives check return move list. This is the generate castling method. Um, why is this important? I do not understand why when we do castling um, yeah, something's not adding up there. Anyhow, there is some variable here, ci, is the check info. Okay, that's not a good example to follow, because that has to do with a very specific situation. Um, Let's take a look at um, gives check over here, which is hopefully more generic. Oh, I can just construct a check info object. Okay. And our compile error was on line 30, or on line sourced from position CPP line 30 cost in position dot h line 154 uh, yeah, let's just take a look at yeah so I can't do gives check like that I have to provide some kind of reference to the position and given that this is position dot cpp uh, the way to get the position is like so. Um, I'm going to assume that works. I'm going to assume my pointer types check out. If not, I might have to dereference a pointer. Yeah. Position legal move comma bit board. That's the legal function. It doesn't, there is no check info const position. There's a check info const position reference. Hmm. Okay. So I think star this. Star this resolves to just the object itself. Rather, I'm not even sure how that expression evaluates. It basically says take the pointer and don't use the pointer, use the object instead. Um, and now, uh, people playing stockfish, I don't know. Uh, kill all stockfish. Uh, okay. Had to do the kill all stockfish command to get, uh, there we go, far better.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. We got this. We don't need any silly rules. I'm just gonna run the king up the board and win promptly because some error probably happened somewhere. What error did I get this time? A1, H8. Now, A1, H8 is definitely a checking move. So it's still not picking up this concept that checking's kind of not legal. So, yeah, I'm giving it all this more time because it might take me a little while to figure out the bug that I introduced. Um, oh, beauty of having two monitors here. UCI. Okay. Uh, set option name UCI underscore race value true uh, position FBN eight 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 yeah you know this isn't I should just grab this out of the log if there is a log hopefully there is. All that log, I think it was. Yeah, let's just grab this command. Stockfish. UCI set option name, UCI underscore race, value true. Position that position. Go move time 25, depth 1. A1H8. It still comes up with A1H8. See, that's a problem. Um, all right, let's take a look at the make file. Uh, and let's remake, rebuild, whatever. Uh, this enabling all the debugging. Hopefully I can deal with this issue where it wants to play queen h8. Uh, and if not, I don't know what I'm going to do other than just win the game on time, but yeah. Uh, what did I do here? So I built the program. I need to run it. Set option name UCI race. That position go move time 25 to 1. Let's actually grab this whole block of commands. Um, we see it's coming up with A1H8 still, which is not legal. Uh, okay, we're going to change the test file that I've got here. That'll work. Actually, we don't need two threads to test this. Um, also, what AI level was I testing this on? Skill level value zero. OK. Uh, Alright, so that duplicates the problem. Best move A1H8, which is illegal. And now I have to somehow teach the engine that, you know, giving this check looks like a really powerful move, but it's just not legal, man. You can't play this queen to H8, because that would be check. Um, So, generate legal. Um, I guess one thing I could do is say, like, if the player in move is on check, is in check, you've lost. But that's different than what I need. Uh, what I need is that moves to put an opponent in check are illegal. Um, all right, so 
generate evasions, generate non-evasions. Uh, actually, you're never going to be in check, so the whole evasion, non-evasion thing is not really an issue here. Um, So here's how we debug an issue. Um, if, if, wait, no, we just need an assertion. Um, so our assertion's gonna be uh, not is erase or not check. Okay, so I need to do a build, considering that check is just completely not leaving. And then we'll work the stack trace and figure out where it is that this illegal move came from. There we go. So GDB, wait, I need to grab these commands here. Uh, GDB stockfish run. And let's look at the backtrace and what made this illegal move. Okay, so here, rather, this is seeing that in some position we have checkers. And that should not happen. And thread search, it search CPP 461, search 318. Uh, let's take a look at lines 461 and 318. Well, that's not good. Is it saying that somebody's in check in the start position? Because that doesn't make any sense. Maybe at the start of some search, but um, ha, huh. okay, yeah. It looks like I'm probably gonna win this game on time because I'm not gonna be able to debug the issue fast enough. That's too bad. Um. Okay, so what do I do now? Uh, <laughs> it's not exactly what I was looking for, but that is kind of useful. Um, but no. Uh, oh wait, it was at line 461 that we verified whether a player was in check or not, right? Somehow this generates the list of checkers, I think. So search 461, call search 1149, calls checkers. So we're going to see, or search 624. So this is the point in the code where we see, is there a checker? This is a better place than in the header file for me to actually make some meaning of this. Um, if we're dealing with racing kings and yeah, let me actually move these three lines down here and in check. Yeah, that's this is an illegal situation. I need to print that out. delete those lines in that order, yes, because I could drop that code in over here. Let 
indentational reason. One, two, three, four spaces. Okay, I'll stick with that. Um, actually, this can still stay there. But. go. So we got the right assertion there. It's still going to fail as it always did. However, um, now I can maybe dump some output prior to the failure. I'm going to add some more time to Stockfish's clock. Not that Stockfish deserves it, but I prefer not to win my first game on time. And there is no pause button. There'd be no one way to unpause it anyway without the AI's uh, consent. So AI is going to like rise up against me and say, no, you cannot unpause this game. I'd have to force it somehow. But anyway, yeah, trick here is uh, after the selected move, the player cannot be in check. Um, I don't even know which is the in-stream operator, the out-stream operator, whatever. Uh... Hmm. Okay. How did I used to print out this stuff? I'm trying to remember. There was some sense to it somehow, somewhere. Um, I'm not seeing it. Okay, we'll leave that there. It's not going to compile, but. Um, Okay, so that's just debug info. Um, grep, checkers. I don't remember where this was. Oh, okay. So where did we used to print out a position? Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab this code. Sync C out, sync end line. And I'm gonna print out this position that's problematic. course that's not going to compile um, because I'm probably missing a header uh, missing an include statement somewhere but even without its compilation um, oh what no okay that's what I thought this is either not compiling or not linking um, there are no arguments to is race that okay yeah I goofed um, looking for template functions and such. Really, this isn't a template function, this is just a method uh, or a function on the position object. So there we go. Um, can I duplicate the problem again? Yep, there's another duplication of the problem. Uh, in check failed. Uh, says C1 is a checker. Wait, what? How is C1 a checker here? 
Okay, so it's gotten to some point in the analysis where it's considering moving this knight, apparently. Where did the knight go? Knight takes f1 is what it's tried now. It likes all these moves that are illegal. I feel kind of bad about winning against this, um, since it did, clearly does not understand the rules. Uh, but okay. Yeah, knight takes c1's illegal. Queen to a8's illegal. How did it generate this move that's illegal, I wonder? Because, um... I thought I added something here that says if you're giving check, then that's totally not a legal move. Um... Pretty sure I wrote that. Where did I write that here again? Have I removed it or something? Um, I'm not seeing it. Or maybe it, yeah, maybe it's not somewhere it needs to be. Evaluate CPP benchmark. Yeah, what the heck? Um, oh. Uh, get diff period grep um, gives check. Okay, so move gen dot cpp. Um, maybe that's just incomplete information about what gives check somehow. I'm confused. Oh, okay. Now I get what that's used for. This is saying if we're only looking for checks, exclude this move if it's not a check. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, if we're looking for castling moves that must be check, exclude this if it's not check. That's what this is reading here. So if that's the example I'm copying from, maybe it is? I'm not sure. Um, Okay, but here's generate all. Um, quiet checks, evasions, Captures, evasions, stuff. Uh, uh, here's a generate function. Uh, captures, quiets, non evasions. Hmm. Assert non checkers. So this is to deal with captures, quiets, and non-evasion moves, um, where we're not in check to begin with, I guess. I'm not sure why that's so important here, but apparently it is. Oh wait, now it's saying, are we on move checking the opposing king? That's what that's about. Um... Okay. <laughs> so, iterate through the move list. Um, if we're pinned, or if it's not legal, 
then remove the move from the move list. Okay, so we look at position that legal then. Um, and this says if we're playing racing chess. We're playing racing chess. Obviously, we can't put our own king in check, but we can't check the opposing king. It's possible that this check info thing is not what needs to be there. Hmm. Is this check info just a... No, it's a const reference. Which I think is different than a reference const. I think a const reference is immutable? Or maybe that's a reference const. I don't remember. Um, but basically, maybe it's expecting that this is populated before the method's called. Um, yeah. Uh, there's an expectation that CI is already populated. Uh, so, I'm going to figure out what to do about that. Um, generate pawn moves. Okay. Do I have check info? No, I don't. So basically, I don't know if a king's in check or not um, with a move being made. That's something I actually need to go through the effort to determine myself. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking that might not be necessary, but apparently that's a step that must be taken. Wait, how is it that for this other thing we know what the check info is? I'm looking at the wrong file. I need to look at move gen. That's CPP. How is it that up here when we're generating castling, in this case we know check info? Const check info pointer CI equals null pointer. something is doing something with that check info. I'd rather not write my own routine to go determine if a player's in check or not. If such a routine already exists and I can readily use it. Um, position dot do move check info POS. so confused. How is this doable? Move gen dot cpp check info ci generate quiet checks. Generates all pseudo-legal non-captures and night under promotions that give check. Set 
say if is race. And I've got to write to my whole special routine here. Yep, say that. And say that if a check is given, return false. There's got to be a more minimal way to write that. I'm assuming that this is even going to work. Now, inside the scope of position.cpp, there's no such thing as POS because POS is just this. Um, and we're seeing if move M gives check, return false. Oh, hang on. Maybe I don't need to write that into the move legality checker. Uh, maybe I could just inline the condition here. That's probably it. Not that it doesn't hurt to have that also elsewhere, but um, if def race and if and we're going to say and not is or position is race and gives check and here I need to provide as argument one um, the move, which is star C U R. Okay. Uh, can I try compiling this again? Ah, gives check is not declared in this scope. Where is it declared? It's declared inside position. Uh, so hopefully one of these two uh, if statements causes it to detect that a player is trying to give check and just rejects the move out of hand. Um, and unfortunately, that's not the case. Um, still, what gives, right? not the case that we're both playing racing kings and giving check um. <laughs> I don't understand how could this not work Well, I don't need this check here, but I'll leave it in line anyway. Um, yeah. Um, I guess I just need to copy these lines of code into what we're doing down here. Maybe there's some way by which pseudo legal moves are automatically assumed to be legal. And if that's the case, then this move can't be considered pseudo legal either. Uh, let's try that. See what we get. Nope, that didn't fix it either. Um, well, I hate to disappoint, but you know. I'm really not sure why my code's generating these moves, like knight f1 and queen h8, other than they're strong moves, but they're not legal. That's the rub, is that that shouldn't be, um, shouldn't be allowed.
in this particular area. So, I don't know what to say. I'm very much at a loss, and um, all I can assume at this point is that some inspiration will come later and I'll be able to figure this out. It's usually right after the stream or right after the opportune moment that a person uh, has a moment of cogency and inspiration, but we're going to hope that that happens here uh, because I'm not sure what else to, to try for. It seems pretty unambiguous and short of me writing my own routine. Um, which does pretty much the same thing as what this should be doing. Uh, I'm not sure what else to do. And that's a long, laborious thing, and it's probably what I need to do, but it's not what anybody wants. Um, okay. Well, I guess I probably have to leave it there. It's not the most comfortable place to leave it, but I'm not sure what else to do. One thing I do need to do um, is back out my changes which allow you to play the AI in this variant. Take that out of the setup helper. Uh, just because at the moment this isn't working. We can always try to add it back later, but um, let's see, and then I got to check what did I change in the modules section. Yeah, a whole bunch of stuff has changed, but um, that's probably all okay, right? Uh, if I can remember where I changed this, that'd be a good thing. You know, probably given that um, this interface, and it's going to take a minute to load that up, but this interface won't let you, shouldn't let you pick Racing Kings anymore. Uh, come on. It's going to make a liar out of me, doesn't it? Isn't that wonderful? Um, so, what was my command to go redeploy? GUI components and such. I do have to back this out because unfortunately we've found a bug and I don't want people messing up the rating system and such. So um, I'm going to rebuild the UI components and I mean this shouldn't affect that at all but maybe something's cached, something's not quite right. It'd be cool to have an AI which didn't cheat, but since this one's trying to cheat, we've got to um, not allow for rated games in this variant against the AI, at least until such time as bugs are fixed. And that's why I picked level one. That's why I picked on the easiest level first. So that if I do win it by some fluke, by some accident that's not meant to happen, at least the rating system isn't borked. Um, all right. Oh. Well, we're going to take another look at that. Just 
simply remove this altogether instead of trying to comment it out. Ah, this is AI variant choices. So actually what I commented out was probably the wrong one. It's the AI variant choices that's the real issue here. Translated variant choices with variants. It's probably okay to leave racing kings there. In fact, I'm gonna wager that was originally there, right? Um, yeah, so now I backed out the correct part of that code, meaning when we try to play with the machine, once this does load up, um, you won't be able to choose um, the variant that it cheats at. I'm not sure what that's going to mean for my game in progress, but at least until such time that I've fixed the bug, yeah, I've been able to now remove uh, that game from the list. Let's see somebody else playing? I saw Shockful was playing in the hourly classical arena. That's cool. I'll keep banging away at this, but I don't mean to bore you with the details of it, and I appear to be hitting a brick wall right now. Maybe later I'll have some ideas as to how to get around said wall. Uh, said wall is that it's trying to play illegal moves like knight takes bishop and this check. It doesn't really want me to keep pushing forward unabated. So, with that said, um, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.